Hello everyone! Welcome back to another SOAR episode from this season's theme of book chillers for reading Olympics books. If you haven't done so already, be sure to check out last week's episode on the beautiful friendship between Martin and Caitlin in the book I Will Always Write Back. It's one of my favorites. This week's episode is for the book The Girl Who Drank the Moon, a fantasy novel following the story of a young girl named Luna. The day of sacrifice is a difficult day when a mother is forced to hand over their baby to a witch in the woods, though no one actually checks to make sure the witch gets the baby. In fact, the witch is actually a kind witch whose name is Zahn, and she takes the babies and feeds them starlight, after which she sends them to the free cities. Thus they are dubbed star children. One day, a baby named Luna is abandoned in the forest, and Zahn accidentally feeds her with moonlight instead of starlight. This causes Luna to fill up with magic, making Zahn decide to raise her instead of sending her to the free cities. At Zahn's home, Glurk the swamp monster isn't too happy about Zahn keeping Luna, but the dragonling Fryan is happy about it. Zahn and Glurk watch over Luna with careful attention as they know her magic could burst out at any moment. When Luna turns five, it does. She can't control what she's doing, and Zahn cannot help her because she's growing weaker. Zahn decides to place Luna into a cocoon and figure out a solution. She remembers her mentor's teachings, and after nine days of hard thought, she comes up with a spell to trap all of Luna's magic into a small seed in her brain. The seed will open when Luna turns 13, but at this point, Zahn will die. Will Luna be safe? Will Zahn really die? What are these free cities? What will Luna do with her magic? Read to find out and join this tale of a girl who must learn to control her newfound power. For me, I truly loved reading this book and it kept me at the edge of my seat the whole way through. This book is full of action, magic, change, friendship, family, power, hope, inspiration, adventure, courage, and is truly a book that I would recommend. Thank you so much for listening. If you enjoyed the episode, please be sure to leave a rating and review, and to share SOAR with others to help achieve SOAR's mission of increasing global reading rates. I implore you to SOAR.